You see that little light? That means I'm in pain. Hello. Hello. Real quick, hopefully I don't date this video too much, but hey, we got to a thousand subscribers. Yahoo! Okay. That's about all the enthusiasm you're gonna get. I like it, it's it's a good feeling, and to share that good feeling with you and to knock myself down a couple notches, in this video I'm gonna be mostly torturing myself. Just a quick recap, I went ahead and made a wireless transmitter and receiver system to pretty much just make a complicated yeah. doorbell. There was a total of four buttons on the keypad outside. One was to my room, the other was to my roommate's room, and the last two I left open for your suggestions. My reason behind doing this is I wanna please my audience as well as eat my own words when I said that I was gonna pick some of the best ideas to do. I went ahead and got a, a robot Arduino speaker, is what it's called and okay it wasn't called a mini massager when it's a it's a shocky thing it, it's a tens unit one of those things that i'm sure you've seen michael reeves have where you put the pads on yourself and you get electrocuted i was trying to figure out the speaker and how to get that to work i just found out right now that i need a transistor and i was hoping that the one that i got off of an old tv board that i repaired for my dad but of course this little black box is not the same for everything i need a TIP120, whatever that is. Why couldn't things be easy? They have arrived. I went ahead and swapped out the transistor from the TV board with the proper one. This is a TIP120. It goes signal pin, ground pin, and then this goes to the lead on the speaker, the positive lead. In the last video, I said that I was gonna run through the code. This time I'm gonna do a quick sprint. I didn't do anything too crazy personally. I got the diagram as well as the code in the same way that I pretty much got through coding in college, which was control C, control V. I got it off of YouTube and I'll put the video down in the description below. This is just an example code. So the way you get to it is just go to file examples, PCM, and then opening the playback tools. Make sure I got the correct Arduino open and upload. And let's see what it does. I don't know what that's saying and it kind of terrified me, but let's see if I can figure out how to put my own audio on this. The way this library works, the audio actually has to be a sample rate of only 8,000, so it's going to sound really terrible and the bit depth is only going to be 16. This is a test of what's going to be on the Arduino. Hello. So I took that little sound clip that I just did, ran it through the program that came with the download for the library that I have. It converted that WAV file into these numbers that you see on the screen. The 126, 127, 128, so on. It's a, it's a different amplitude or a different pulse length something. I don't know what I'm talking about. And now I'm going to get that code that the program spit out and I'm just going to paste it right here. This is a test of what's going to be on the Arduino. This is a test of what's going to be on the Arduino. Cool, I got the speaker figured out. Now I just need to get some elevator music on it. So I'm just going to take the little elevator music clip that I got and I'm going to loop it over and over and put a delay the length of the little deal. I call that a success. Okay, I got it rigged up so whenever it presses either my room or Nathan's room, it plays that elevator music, which is hilarious. So now I just gotta stick it on the outside of the door. Ah. Alright, first one down. I'd like to thank Christian Hall for giving me this idea. He had a couple good ones. Uh, the second one he said, you could make a button that plays music for them while they wait. I'm sure delivery people would certainly get a kick out of that. So, appreciate your comment and thanks for giving me the idea. Alright, what to do next? Going down the list, I see Jackwund, J-A-K-W-N-D. You could go straight Michael Reeves and have it tase you. Alright, let's see what we got. The Devil's Earbuds. Danger. Warning. Notice. Uh, oh, oh, oh god. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that's so strong. And that's on two. Look at this. It's making my hand do this, and it's on number two. <laughs> okay, let's turn it up to four. Ah! I'm gonna make another wireless transmitter. This will be a lot easier for testing, so instead of having to walk to the door, got 
this little thing wired up so you can just click this and what's cool is if I have a battery bank I can just plug it in and then Ah, I can walk around with it. With a way to wirelessly trigger the device, next up is to make the actual shocking device. Well, this looks a lot less intimidating than my IED of a controller. Eh, maybe not. Alright, I got the receiver hooked up to button number 4 on the door outside. In order to further prove that it works, instead of waiting for a delivery, I'm gonna play Rocket League and give the testing transmitter to my girlfriend, where she can click the button anytime she wants. When you click that button, and you see that little light, that means I'm in pain. So, in pain, out of pain. Ah, I'm, getting, I'm getting too sweaty because I'm nervous and the tape keeps coming off. I'm this sweaty. Why are you sweaty? I'm the one with the thing attached to my arm. <laughs> I don't know when I'm sweating so much right now. Oh my god. Ah! Let me... Stop! <laughs> <laughs> my hand just makes a fist. My hand balls up into a fist whenever you do that. <laughs> See, click it, go. Uh. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Why are you sweating? Oh, look at those dribbles. Okay, I think I'm getting used to it. I'll turn it up to four. Oh. <laughs> that hurts so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Now you're just spamming it. <laughs> I got 30 seconds remaining. Oh no. <laughs> You're just gonna click it. Ah! <laughs> ah, that's too much. You can't just click it over and over. <laughs> All right, now you play Rocket League and let me shock you. Okay. After that torturous game of Rocket League, and I'm all sweaty. Let's see. John Wenzel says button number three. Do not push, and if they push it, it dumps water on the person outside. Yeah, I I don't really want to do that because that would 100% ruin somebody's day. Jeremy S. Cook, tins unit for the other button. Tase yourself. All right, it's on. Ah! Safe tech, safe tech. Tase your roommate. Hey, it's not me for once. Ah. All right, that's about enough of that. I'm gonna go dry off and try to relocate my neck after that last shock. Sorry if this video was random. I just wanted to kind of compile a bunch of ideas and prove to you that I do read your comments. I read every single one and respond to, I'd say most of them. If you made it this far and like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because the subscribe button doesn't actually do anything anymore. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and hope you got something out of this. Thanks.